All right, so I'm going through my Stash O projects. We recently had a piece sell, and so we need another piece about the same size. I'm gonna grab that table. We paid $20 for it, and I think it'll be a good makeover for today. Zeb's gonna dig it out for me, and then he's gonna be fixing uh, broken water pipes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> just, just what the doctor ordered today. It's a Monday. That's like the perfect size to fit the spot, so. And I already sanded the top a while back to I know. it out of the garage. Plus so, bonus. So it might need just like a little touch up sand. Well, I'm gonna paint the bottom and then I'll touch up sand the top and then finish that. Cool. Look at Zeb one handing it. Can you, you can probably haul this out. Yeah, I can haul that out myself. Right. You can stay here and fix the leak. So I'm gonna try to come up with something close to the Panatone color of the year. I'm gonna mix French Millinery, Kissing Booth, and Farm Fresh. They're all DIY paints that you can buy at jamierayvintage.com. You can see that I have not had the lid on this very good. So I decided to add some Bohemian Blue, and if this doesn't get me there, then I'm just gonna go with whatever color it is. I think it's hard to see the true color, but I think I'm close. I'll put a swatch next to it so you can see. It's not as bright, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so this is the piece that I'm gonna be painting. The top is gonna get stained. Sorry for the weird angle I'm filming myself, but, um, and I've got my paint right here. DIY paints, all natural, doesn't need a primer, and I'm gonna go ahead and get one coat. I think I'm probably gonna need two. I did wipe this piece down, but nothing crazy. If you're gonna be mixing colors, be sure, ooh, that's pretty, can you see that? If you're gonna be mixing colors, be sure to mix up enough, because it's really hard to get the exact same color twice, even if you know the ratios. It's okay if I get a little on top, because I can re-sand it, but I'm gonna try not to. If you want to buy DIY paint, you can pick up the products, the brush, and everything you need at jamierayvintage.com. Here's a close-up. Don't mind the drips. I'm going to get one coat on and we'll see where we're at. First time I've had a puppy here while I'm painting. It's going to make my life... Don't get into the paint. Don't do it. All right, pro tip. When I'm painting things that are like cylindrical, I brush from side to side. There's like legit no good way to brush up and down. This goes for all spindles, chairs. That's how I do it. Everything else with the grain. Anything cylindrical, side to side. All right, so here's one coat. You can see it's darker where it's drying. And I'm gonna stay right here and watch it because right over here, there's puppies. And I don't need them in my paint. So this is one coat dry. The coverage is pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat and just make sure I didn't miss anywhere. Very satisfying. I used all the paint. Now I'm just gonna wait for the second coat to dry and we'll get started on the top. All right, so Orbital sander, 220 sandpaper. I'm gonna finish making sure the top is ready and there's no extra paint and distress the base. They'll be ready to seal it. Okay, so next step is we're gonna be working on the top. I'm gonna to be using Old and Gray. It's a patina barnwood finish with a built-in sealer. I'll brush two coats on, 
wipe them back, and then we'll be ready to seal the base. This is all natural water-based, totally safe to do inside, and will easily wash out of my brush. Before it dries, I'm just gonna wipe off any excess old and gray that got around the edge. So I get asked, what if I don't wanna use wax? What if I want a more waterproof? I'm gonna be using DIY's Big Top on the base of this, and then I'm also gonna put a couple extra coats on top, and we'll be good to go. So Jamie was over here doing lots of really good work while I had to do some fun plumbing, which it's okay. We got the water out of the basement. I've got a pump that did a really good job on that. And then just a few uh, pipes that needed fixed that had actually frozen and cracked, but it's all better now. Today we used Big Top and Old and Gray and no wax, which is like a first time ever. So one of the things I like about the Big Top over the wax is that if you don't want to buff and buff and buff for hours to get a high sheen, it's got a pretty good semi-gloss, uh, maybe leaning towards satin finish on there. And it looks like it's sealed really good. It's actually really durable. It's what we use on our tabletops. I actually, if it was for me, I would put wax on the bottom, but I wanted to show you guys how to use Big Top. Um, I love the way the top turned out. And if you guys want to buy similar products, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. This is going to go up on the website and into the shop. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more DIY. Comment below and let me know if you think that my color came close to the Pantone color of the year. And is it a color you're going to use in your decor? Mm -hmm.